everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have a sneak peek from Diamond Art Club for Black Friday. One of the many. This is Welcome Home by Mandy Manzano. Square drill diamond painting. Look how beautiful this is. It's a 22 by 33 inch diamond painting and I'm going to show you what's inside. How are you all doing today? I hope you're well. This is, aha, this is the diamond painting kit, and this is how it comes. So inside the box, you have a sticker, a toolkit, and the diamond painting and drills and everything else in there. Let's have a look real quick at the toolkit. This is just kind of to help you get started if you haven't diamond painted before and this is your first time looking at Diamond Art Club, I also do have a coupon code down below. If you would like to use it, there's no pressure at all. It works for first time customers. So for all you regulars out there, I do apologize, but I appreciate you watching the videos. We have a bag of baggies in this toolkit. You can use that to store extras if you like. We've got a pair of tweezers and a pen. Then we have a pen grip, some multi-placers to help you place more than one drill. This is the diamond drill tray and a spout for this end. Then we have a cover minder, some washi tape, and two plates of heart-shaped wax. This washi tape is cute. These two things are always different and the color of the pen and the grip are usually different from kit to kit. They're kind of random, but it'll help you get started. And if you are like me and you like to collect accessories, I do have a playlist here on YouTube that you can check out if you're looking for drill trays or pens or any kind of accessory that you might want to get into if you really like this hobby. Some of us take time to warm up to our hobbies and some of us, let me know if you're like me, uh, we buy all the things to do the hobby before we even get into the hobby. <laughs> That's most definitely me. So inside the canvas, we have diamonds, which I'm gonna go through in just a few minutes. This is a very neutral palette. So where are my neutral girlies and guys out there? Tell me in the comments. We've got a thank you and a how to. If you need some help, I also have a playlist on how to diamond paint. And then we have the legend. The legend shows you all of the symbols that are used on the canvas and what DMC code that they refer to. So we have quite a variety of specialty diamonds in here because there's 64 colors. Look at this original artwork, isn't she amazing? So we've got two AB diamonds, we've got an E310, an L5200 and a Z3865. So I believe that is glow in the dark, uh, crystal and fairy dust diamonds. Amazing! I can't wait to look into this. We're going to look at them in more detail in just a few moments, but first let's look at the canvas. Roll it up this way. Who's getting excited for the holidays? Me. <laughs> Me is the answer. Wow, look at her. Oh my gosh, she is so gorgeous. This is rendered so well. I really like her face in this. I think she's going to look incredible. The detail on the dog is also amazing. And I'm sure that if you'd like to, because this is a square drill diamond, you could change the colors to reflect a different pet. Maybe you had, oops, maybe you had a dog that had a floofy tail. You could change the colors if you wanted to. Amazing. Her thumb is covered by the fur of the dog, by the way. Just, <laughs> I was like, hang on, why does her thumb look missing? That's why. Look at her dress. I love this style that Mandy does where she has these little bubbles, like mosaic bubbles. And I really love her artwork for this because I like to do the black outline and then fill it in with color. It's so satisfying. 
So this is the diamond painting. We have very clear symbols here, as usual. Um, we have the legend on both sides in opposite corners. A really nice soft canvas as well. And I love it because this is actually, it has a lot of color blocking in it. So if you don't like to do piles and piles of confetti, I think this is going to be really fun for you to complete. It'll go by quickly if you use a multi-placer. Now, let's look at the diamonds. You can feel free to skip this part if you don't want to see them all and you just want to skip ahead to where those specialty drills are placed. That's interesting. All of the 310 is E310. So presumably these glow in the dark. I'm gonna have to test this out. Hang on a minute. Y'all, it is even better than glow in the dark. It is a glow in the dark fairy dust diamond. Are you kidding me right now? This is a UV light by the way. So that is how I'm getting it to do this. <gasps> Amazing! I love it so much! Incredible! Okay, so, so, all of the black outlining. Hang, hang on, why is this lighting better than with all the studio? Y'all? All right, I'm not going to ask questions. We're going to continue. Let's see, let's see what happens. So we've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags of E310. And that is all of the outlining in this painting. All of the black that you can see. Then we've got 3778, 3830. I'm going to save my electricity bill this month. 221, 453, 3864, 356. 739, 433, 3371, 3072, 930, 434, and 648. My mind is blown that this lighting is okay for filming. <laughs> 738 and 839. Oh, I don't know if this is going to get captured. 106 is an AB. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis. What that means is it has that iridescent coating. There we go. Iridescent coating on it to make it shiny and kind of like stand out. So it's great for highlighting. 3863, 3857, 452, 646, 154, 3033, 841, 3790, 758, 435, 3750, ooh, that's pretty, 3685, 105, here's the other AB, look at that, that's pretty, I bet that's in the wings. 647, 3782, 898, and 644. <gasps> Y'all, I just saw something. Uh, 951, 3042, 161, 645, 931, 932, 793, 437, 301, 400, 3802, 151, and <gasps> square crystal drills. Look at them. <gasps> they look like glass. They're so pretty. Where on earth? They're so pretty. L5200. Oh, gorgeous. And then our last. Rip 
This is 3865 with the Z in front of it. This is a fairy dust diamond. So it has glitter on the top of the drill. So pretty. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Very pretty. There's two bags. 3722, 318, 159, 336, 317, 223, 938, and oops, the last one, 3772. All right. Let's go ahead and see where these go. So number one is that kind of beige, um, the beige AB. And yes, it is in the wings. It's the lightest tan color on the edges that you can see. Do you see that right there? And here, there's a little bit on the inside here as well. Uh, there is none in her face or her arm. That would not make sense. And that's it. So it's just enhancing the, the wings like I thought. Number two is 106 AB. And I'm looking for the number two. Hold. <laughs> two is in the puppy dog. So in like between the lightest part of the face, just here, right here in the body, a little bit coming down here. And that's it. Nowhere else on the canvas. And then we have, obviously I told you about the 310. All of the 310 in this painting is a glow-in-the-dark fairy dust diamond. Incredible. Uh, number, oh, sorry, it's not a number. The white square with the black dot, which is inside of these little hangy down star lantern types. Uh, here, here these little spots in the background, as well as in her hair, the little kind of bobbles in her hair. Anywhere else? Those are all the crystals. So those beautiful glass looking crystals are kind of decoration for her hair and for those stars in the background. And then lastly, we have the fairy dust white diamond, which is a dash. That is all of the white that you can see that's outlining the dog, the dog's face, her arms, the background, the kind of cracks in the mosaic in the background where there's a white. You can see it beside the black. Um, all the way around the painting, around her face, around her dress here. Oh my God, it's everywhere. Outlining her all the way down here in these curly cues in the in the um, clouds words and around every little bubble in her dress oh it's so pretty oh my gosh y'all this is so pretty oh I can't believe it okay so y'all know how much I love Manny Manzano right I think I have a lot of Mandy's and I think Mandy is back to Diamond Art Club, like in a big way. Get ready. I hope, I hope that you've saved up your money <laughs> if you're a Mandy fan too. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. Uh, if you need information about Diamond Art Club when this is releasing or anything like that, please check the description box as I am filming these ahead of time. And I'm not sure myself. Anyway. Thank you, thank you for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, to share with someone who would love this painting. Thank you for watching and subscribing and I'll see you in my next one. Take care everybody, bye.